Time now for other stories making headlines in the conference. Here's what's happening in the ACC now. ACC now, Carlos Rodon and Trey Turner named All-Americans by perfect game. First team All-Americans, hard to argue. They've both been fantastic this season, last season as freshmen, and they're back now making NC State, so one of the top teams in the country going into this season. Last night, women's hoops. UConn defeated U Duke 79-49. You know what? This game was close at half, and then UConn just ran away with it in the second half. It's Duke's first loss of the season. They're 16-1. Women's Hoops action is live Friday night here on the ACC Digital Network. Georgia Tech visits number 22 Florida State, tip off 7 o'clock. Watch the entire game, it streams live right here on the ACC DN. And two bonuses, one, well I don't know if this is a bonus, but I'll be doing the play-by-play. -play. The other is definitely a bonus because I'll be down in Tallahassee. It means Kelly Nash will be hosting ACC Live on Friday. Yeah, baby. There you go. <laughs> other, uh, ten, by the way, the weekly menu right here on the ACC. Here's the full schedule tonight, NC State and Wake Forest, and Boston College and Maryland. Tomorrow we've been talking about the big one, Duke and Miami, plus Georgia Tech and North Carolina, and Player of the Week, Reggie Bullock. All of a sudden, no one wants to mess with the Tar Heels. Thursday, Clemson, Florida State, and the battle for the state of Virginia, the Hokies and the Hoos. So with the big game between Coach K and Coach L tomorrow night, someone on our team decided this was an important question for the universe. Here it is. What should Miami residents be more concerned about? Courtney and Kim in Miami. That's right, they, they took Miami. Or the Duke Blue, Blue Devils coming to town. Wow, pretty confident there, Hurricane. That's, that's someone who's saying, hey, the Hurricanes <laughs> are going to win. Basically what we're saying, the Hurricanes are going to win. So that was, that was one of our cleverer questions. Cleverer. -er -er. We've discovered Kim. By the way, we discovered Kim's still married to Chris Humphrey. She is. Uh, they were and married. He's not we letting thought it go. they were only married for like 72 days before things fell apart, but now it's months later. Oh, no, it's going to be war. <laughs> Why do we follow that thing?